crazy, then love more. That's what we are all about. And we are going to show you how that philosophy works straight in to the great young Jevy University. I hope you're living there. I hope you're starting at the beginning and I hope you're going all the way to the end. Denise and I are committed to showing you this coffee shop interview, how to do it, why to do it and take it from there. So Denise, what do you got? Well, so here's the thing is most people, when they get into network marketing, when you get into longevity, um, a lot of people go, I think I can do this as a business. I know three or four people that will definitely uh, enroll with me. And then what happens is they go out with so much enthusiasm. They go and talk to their best friend who says no. Then they go to their favorite uncle who says no, and then they go to their uh, brother who says no, and then finally they say, mom, will you please enroll? And she says no, and they go, all right, I'm out, I'm done. I don't know anybody else. And what we believe is that by really developing the coffee shop interview, um, that problem of having not enough candidates in your pipeline completely goes away. Let's face it, everybody wants something. But with our agenda-driven conversation that most network marketers are trained to, we are going out there and throwing up on people. And we are taking our agenda and foisting that upon them. And instead of doing that, we want you to do exactly the opposite. We want you to find out what they want to buy and then sell that to them instead of coming with your artillery like your upline probably trains you to do. We don't want you doing that. We want you to humanize your contacts. We want you to look in their life, figure out what's missing, and figure out what longevity can do to fill that hole. Totally, so what the coffee shop interview is, is first of all, there's not really a script. Um, I, I never know how people do the scripts anyway. They never it's work impossible. for me. I can never remember them. And so what the coffee shop that's interview- That's because you're using your heart instead of your brain. That's it, and, and so- that's why you're cruddy at it, because you use your heart. And that's why you're successful, because you use your heart, which takes you to my opening comment, love like what crazy, then think? love more, fire your brain, hire your heart. Keep going. That's perfect, Tom. So, yeah, so with the coffee shop interview is what you're doing is you're really just having a heartfelt conversation with someone. You're developing that relationship. You're getting to know who they are as a person. You know, are they married? Do they have kids? What do they like to do for fun? Um, what's their job? Do they like their job? You know, what are their real dreams? What are their goals? What are they, how do they really want to live their life? And what your job is to take them where they want to go mm. and forget your agenda and taking them where you want them to go because they're not going to go there. They're going to choose their path that's aligned with what they're all about. So what we want to train you to do is become your best you so you can train them to become their best them. And if you put that focus in this, you're going to be able to identify your business builders. You're going to identify your product users. You're going to identify your straight customers. And you're going to stop trying to make people what they don't want to be because you did the interview. You found out what they're up to. And now you're serving instead of bossing, which is an unbelievable concept. <laughs> serving instead of bossing. Yeah, that's what people do. You think you boss people around in this business. That's well, the yeah. fastest way to make them quit, by the way. Yeah, and I think the other thing, too, is that, you know, it really comes from a place of respect, you know, like honoring where somebody's at. Mm -hmm. And, you know, none of us like to feel that, that feeling of manipulation, you know, like, oh, they're going to get me to buy something or they're going to get me to sign up. And what we really want to do is honor honor that person where they're at and timing is so important because so many of us didn't say yes the very first time because it wasn't time yet we had to get to the place where in our life we were ready to jump into longevity and make it work for us and one thing about the coffee shop interview you interview these people and then you do something called contact mapping what does contact mapping mean? It means that that human being that you sat across the table from and you found out about his likes, his dislikes, what he wants, what he doesn't want, what his hobbies are, what his money is, what his health is, instead of just saying, okay, see you later and moving on to the next prospect, you literally map that person in your notes. 
because you never know when something's going to come up in their life where it didn't fit today, Mm -hmm. but it might fit then. And you were the one that had the map to call them on the phone and say, oh, man, I just noticed in whatever it was, this might be the time for you to have a powerful longevity conversation with me. How would you like to have a cup of coffee? But the person that didn't map that is starting over at the beginning. Every time you're going to be at about the 50 yard line to open the conversation because you actually remembered them. And all any of us really want in life is to be remembered. And I love how you you always say you humanize your address book. That's what I do. Yeah, and that's and that's really important because when somebody knows that you remember them, when when somebody really gets that you know them, they they that you've remembered all their details of their life. When you ask about you know Cooper, their dog. Uh, they really feel important and you know and then there's that trust that's built and you're coming at this person from the from the standpoint of how can i serve you and it's not about selling anything customer service can i help you (laughs) yes what's your what's your id number my name is tom chenault i'm a human being and i want to talk to you what is your name i'm i'm operator number 6175 (laughs) no you're not you're susie let's be human beings here that's our mom and dad's named us that so the other part is that oh my gosh you should be a comedian um the other part is that with the coffee shop interview uh we always talk about two interviews a day and one three-way call when you're out in the world and you're touching people and really getting to know people, then you suddenly don't have this problem of having not enough people in your funnel. You have this problem of too many people in your funnel. And then like Tom said, how do I, how do I get back to follow up? And you do that through contact mapping, but you don't just follow up in any sort of, you know, one way. Let's face it, longevity is so far ahead of the game with the seven verticals. So let's just do a scenario. I walk into a Starbucks, you see me across the table, you say that guy is a candidate for the rev. He is a weight loss dream come true. I'm gonna go sell him the weight loss. You don't, so you interview me, you find out I love phones, I love chocolate, I love coffee, all this stuff. You call me 10 times in a row. I don't want to buy the Rev. I'm not ready to lose all this weight yet. Most people would heave that contact out the window. But guess what happens with longevity? All of a sudden, in this humanized contact map you've got on Tom Chenault, you can come back and touch me from coffee. You can come back and touch me from the telephone services. You can touch me from the travel. Every one of those because you had the data points of me being interested in that while everybody else interviewed me with their eyes, which is a critical mistake. Or with their passion. That's what happens oh, a lot worse. of times, too. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm, I've sat on airplanes and, and been held hostage for a half an hour while, while somebody tells me how I need to drink this super juice that they love. And so without ever asking one question about me and who I was, which I just chuckle because that's 99% of the training out there is the two-foot rule. So here's the deal. The three components of this, the coffee shop interview, then you contact map them, and then you follow up on them at least five times. So if you're going to follow up on somebody five times, they call me on the phone. Tom, would you like to buy the rev? No. Tom, would you like to buy the rev? No. Tom, would you like to buy the rev? No. Tom, would you like to buy the rev? No. Tom, would you like to buy the rev? No. That's five. Tom, would you like to ride the rev? No. But if you would have said, well, Tom, now we've got coffee, now we've got chocolate, now we've got this, all in that same follow-up conversation because I was a human being and you'd mapped me, you're going to get me in one of those five touch points because I realized you really cared about me instead of cared about you. That's the difference. So coffee shop interview, contact map, enroll, and all on their agenda, fire your brain, hire your heart, and you win this every time. And use use these incredible tools that Longevity has. Oh, that, you know, that Longevity University. It's amazing. Yep. You know, I mean, the crazy thing is, I wish twenty years ago we had <laughs> just one of these tools. Oh, we'd be rich. 
<laughs> but, you know, we have so many great tools that you can point people to and um, use that. Use these great tools to, to show people this business. Yeah, you know, we, you know, we are old dogs and it's hard to teach us new tricks. Here's the deal, everybody out there in Longevity Nation. This Longevity University has taught Denise and I a bunch of new tricks. It's systemized us. We now know, we kind of knew what we were doing before, but we didn't know how to teach people to do it. One thing that came out of Longevity University is this duplicatable system that every one of you can do. Absolutely. And if you can, if we can do it, you can. Thank you so much for letting us be a part of this. How do we do? I think we did great. All right, good. That's <laughs> all we need. Thank you very much.